it's bar time. Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome, favorite, favorite the game. Back to the game here. What about the kids are like a dragon? It looks like we have. Did we not finish? Dachi not that far away. Ah, uh, he's 140, but we can at least bond with our favorite lady in the world. We're just drinking as always. Yo, Sachan. Oh, Ichiban. Perfect timing. Listen to this. What's up? Oh, is it about Nanoa? Yeah. I worked up the courage to call her and asked if she'd been caught up with any bad guys lately. And how'd that go? Um, well... Uh-oh. Not good, huh? Gotta say, I wouldn't have started with the bad guys line. I just couldn't find the right thing to say. Yeah, I know it's hard. But all that matters is getting Nanoha away from that dirt bag. I don't know. We've been apart for so many years, I was probably way out of line to tell her to break up with her boyfriend. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't even take my calls if she knew I've been checking up on her this entire time. But at least she still doesn't realize I know about her being employed at a soap land. She can never find out, not ever. I'll pretend not to know for the rest of our lives if I have to. But how do I help her without letting on what I know? If I do nothing, Katsuragawa might bankrupt her and she'll end up right back at the soap land. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm freaking out! Well, a little herbal tea goes a long way. Wish I could help. Well, how about some herbal tea? Herbal tea? I need a drink. Something to numb all this anxiety. Numbing your feelings ain't gonna do shit. What you need right now is to clear your mind and think of a solution. And herbal tea usually helps people clear their mind, right? Jasmine tea especially. Takes the stress right out of you. Why do you, of all people, know about herbal tea? <laughs> I, I gotta admit, that's just something I read in a magazine once. Well, it does sound nice. What? Yeah? Wanna order some? Style. No, that's okay. I think I'm pretty calm now. Okay, what else can we do? There has to be something. Well, if you really don't think we can convince Nano how to dump him, I don't know. Mm. <sighs> Wait, we've been looking at this all wrong. We need to get Katsuragawa to stay away from Nanoha, not the other way around. How are you gonna do that? Beat him up and run him out of Got town? Accepted. If he were the kind of guy to give up just like that, sure. But he probably isn't. Especially now that he knows Nanoha's willing to be his piggy bank. If we screw this up, he might even take her with him when he bails. I can't let that happen. I think what we gotta do is crush his pride. Like... Get Nanoha to break up with him without shedding a single tear. As if he's nothing to her. And how do we do that? That's so obvious, Sachan. Haven't you caught on yet? To what? You pretend to be Nanoha and break up with him. Use the twin angle to your advantage. Yeah. March in and tell Katsuragawa you never want to see him again. I'll stand there and look intimidating while you give him the boot. That'll have him running. I see. That might actually work. Let's do it. All we need is to find out where Katsuragawa is hanging out. Your employees could probably do that, right? No problem. I'll tell the girls to start looking for him right away. Great. We wait for their word, and we move in for the kill. It'll go fine. I'll be right there with you to make sure he doesn't give you trouble. <laughs> it's a date. Good thinking today, Ichiban. I'll go tell the girls to start asking around. That actually worked. Huh. <laughs> she and her sister are a handful. But it feels like we're finally gonna wrap this up. Where's the bartender at? That's my question. Alright, so she's now level four. What does she keep her open? <laughs> When I active in the party, Sacred experience is a dealer job. Hmm. That sounds like a very good deal. Alright. I'm really curious about this guy right here. Hello, Kasuga-san. 
I must say this place is quite comfortable. Yeah, ain't it? Also, seriously, man, how's a guy make drinking alone look so cool? Guess it's easy when you're as handsome as you. <laughs> That's kind of you to say. Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Yo, for real? <laughs> hey, now you're speaking my language, man. You certainly are a mysterious one, Kasuga-san. Songhui speaks highly of you as well. I dare say it makes me jealous. Oh, come on. Uh, speaking of, have you been with her long? You've got this butler and lady of the house thing going on. It's only been three years since I was brought into the Komijul. I can't say it's been long. No shit. Up until then, I was with a group called the Jingon Mafia. I was their leader's body double. Body double? You mean like a decoy? Just like the real thing? Indeed. If my master was ever targeted by our enemies, I was to be killed in his place. That was my duty. I didn't figure people still did that kind of stuff. Uh, wait, does that mean your face is... An imitation, yes. What you see is a result of large-scale plastic surgery. Huh. But I'll have you know my previous face was rather handsome as well. A shame not a single picture of it exists anymore. Really? Out the window then, huh? In a manner of speaking, yes. So that means Junki Han isn't your real name either, right? What's your real name then? <laughs> Surely we're not that close yet, are we? Come on. First step in becoming friends is calling each other by name, right? Hmm. Well, isn't this awkward? I'm afraid I'm the type to want a bit more distance with people. That how it was with the Jingon Mafia? From the name, I'm guessing it was some sort of Korean Yakuza-like thing? Weren't you once a member of the Tojo clan, Kasuga-san? I'm surprised you've never heard of the Jingon Mafia. I was in the clink for a long time. The Jingon Mafia and the Tojo clan clashed in the 1980s, long before you were serving time. The 80s? Dude, that's 40 years ago. I was just a baby back then. Doubt I even had hair. Yes, I had yet to be born myself. Regardless, early in the decade, the Tojo clan attacked the Jingon Mafia and massacred a great number of them. Around 30 or so. 30? Back then, Kamurocho was the most sought-after territory in all of Asia. I've heard the conflicts for control were rather intense. The Tojo clan was incredibly strong, and they made sure it was a well-known fact. Still, to off 30 of them is... To get their revenge, the Jingon Mafia main arm in Korea sent even more members to Japan. Some of them as undercover agents. But deception is a tricky business, and all who could not strike at the heart of the Tojo clan were considered failures and forbidden from returning. In the end, those that couldn't carry out the mission were abandoned and left without any place to go. One of them happened to be my father. Then you were born here, in Japan. Yes, but be that as it may, I don't recall being welcomed here. I wasn't even accepted by any Korean communities either. My family was treated like slime and kicked out from wherever we went. We came to be called the Stray Jingon Mafia running away whenever we were discovered. Slimes who run away, huh? Oh my god, I want to do it! If you're slimes who run away, the reason they chase you is because you're worth tons of experience. <laughs> I get it. You're into video games, aren't you, Kazuga? Yeah, I played a lot as a kid. Well, you might be surprised to learn I am too. We should talk shop sometime. Hell yeah! Yeah, career point. So, what happened to the Stray Jingon after that? They got dead. Hmm. Enter the 21st century. The winter of 2006. Around the time I turned 20, the Jingon Mafia from the mainland made an all-out assault against the Tojo clan. But even as that happened, 
The stray Jingon Mafia received not a word of warning. We were left completely in the dark. Our fathers were entirely forgotten by the countrymen that sent them here. You don't say. I might know a guy who could sympathize with that. Oh? Yeah. He's right in front of you. <laughs> I got tossed out by my family and locked up for 18 years. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That must be why I can't bring myself to hate you, Kasuga-san. So? What happened to the Jingon's big all-out attack? Despite their careful planning, they were ultimately crushed by the Tojo clan. Ironically, those that survived came from all over to join those of us in the Stray Jingon Mafia. <laughs> it was a miserable sight. Both sides cut off from home and left with no choice but to band together in the social sewer of a country that wasn't theirs. Sounds like you struggled. I wouldn't know it from looking at you, though. And I could say the same to you. Yeah, finally starting to warm up to me? It would seem so. I haven't been acting much like myself today. I had a great time drinking with you, Kasuga-san. I truly mean that. So whatever happened to the real Junki Han? What's he up to now? He revived the Jingon Mafia roughly three years ago, and at that time had taken over a considerable portion of Kamurocho. But he was shot in the head and killed. I was absent at the time. And it all came crashing down, huh? Mm -hmm. Wait, then that means... Can't you use your real name now? Why keep up the body double thing? <sighs> you're... Uh, you're not trying to become the real Jungi Han, are you? Uh, who can say? But that's none of your concern, is it Kasuga-san? Or am I wrong? Ah, uh, you got me there. <laughs> Farewell. I mean... Guess he's not the type to open up so easily. <laughs> I'll just have to keep drinking with him. And yeah, nothing wrong with that. Alright, so he... It's gonna be even easier to level up to as well. Yay. Alright, so everybody's in a good position. Everybody... Can I go upstairs and heal? That's what I would like to do. The, the bed just is over here. Huh? Alright, so what we're gonna do today is go ahead and go after the Chinese front. I'll see you guys in a second. Ah, oh, dang it, I missed the chat. Oh well. Wait, I want to activate this tag so I don't have to go all the way to the other side of the freaking map again. Because I'm trying to activate a lot of these taxis. So I don't have to, like, run everywhere. Yes, I'm that way. Y'all spend thousand dollars just to, you know. Now, hold on. Before we do anything, do you have any weapons? Hello. Doesn't look like it. Hey, the same exact strength as the other thing. That would do a little bit of armor. I don't. I need to. Thank you. Stop. That's my biggest downfall right now. So I feel like after we get done with this area, we're gonna do another round of. They respond. <laughs> All right. So after we get like the entirety of this area. Let's go in, because this is not going to be that bad, especially for our levels. I was going up five or six levels in that dungeon, which was the smartest thing we could have done last episode. So... Aha! Uh -huh. We've been expecting you. Welcome to Queen Jin. I was instructed by the boss to be gracious host. Yo. Your boss is the Mapuche? He's old news. I want to talk to Sal. Yeah. It'll be possible, unfortunately. Is that so? So for being a gracious host. Just means we'll take Sal back ourselves. Let us through. I can't do that either. Come again? Are we really doing this immediately? Yo, we got trouble. Watch out. Our group of guests, our bounty has arrived. Let us serve your killer for a course. 
disgusting man. I don't see this ending well for that. Watch me. Should I open it? Got it. Oh, 
Take some to go. <laughs> hey, people, did you forget we're on a mission here? Yeah, but we can get a free health heal. We could use that here. Oh god, they're frozen off the last time we were here. So cool, we have a thing. I need to eat. Should I open it? Sweet! Iron gloves. Because I've been wrong every single time. Okay. Oh. A weapon that's actually better than what we had. There's an up and a down. My curiosity wants to go down. Mango foot. Curiosity succeeded? Alright, what's up? We're about to be on the road. Golden Mantis, hey! Oh, for intellect! Inquisitor. Should I open it? Got it! Wonder. I freaking love Wonder Downs. They're very effective. Bring one gas ball. If I know games like this, I'm fighting a tiger. What? A tiger? What's up with that? It's our VIP guest. The tigers are my pet and also part of our service package. How'd you get here? Service package? Uh. The dining room where our VIP guests watch a hungry man-eating tiger go berserk, all while they indulge our finest Chinese cuisine. One of our more popular service reviews rave right, but they can't get enough thrills since security of all <laughs> So you guys are just sick as you are. Gross. So I'm looking to host such an ignorant monster this morning. Suppose you're here now. I'm supposed to make dish myself. Get ready, guys. The host? Let's go. In a one on one fight? Well, I don't think you're in. You're gonna have like a health, health, a half health unit like you're gonna have to Cool. That's what I think is gonna happen. I'm up. What's the catch? Watch me. Like, he's not even Come that. Very suffering. I got I wanted to heal first. For that reason. Wild beast. Watching tigers while you eat? I will never understand rich Same. people. Hey, I can get behind it. Tigers are just like house cats, but bigger. Oh sure. It's so cute when they're about to maul you. Yeah, I'm with her on this one, Adachi-san. I don't want to end up as a tiger snack. Right. Alright, you're gonna go ahead and heal here because uh, we're about I'll to get dead. Okay, so what's the catch? How strong actually are you? What? Oh. 542. Probably has around 6,000 HP. Don't move. Double claw. I'm up! I got this! Let's go! Let's go! 
I don't understand. I have secrets too. Bring it on. This way. That was a lot that hurt. Ooh, well. Good position right now. What do we got over here? Raw Ruby Ore. I may need that. But shinies. Shiny sticky rice. We can always use items to heal ourselves with. And may it can't be fun. Should I open it? Of course. It? Sweet! That's the sandals. Should I open it? Got it. That's the boost. Okay, I'm gonna take a guess here, because I've been over 17 so far today. You can wear Oh, you need that. And you need that. Okay, I wasn't. Is 
there really anything? Okay. We'll just keep moving. Actually, speaking of, stop. Next time we know, because you're like a dragon. We're going to keep up going to the Chinese restaurant.